It's half past seven. This is reality, it's a van life with dogs. I'm gonna show you. Always ready to go. Always, always acting like you haven't seen them in six months. Yeah. Even though care. you only saw them seven hours ago. They don't care if you walk them at midnight. They don't care. They don't care if it's raining either. They're just like, no, let's go. At seven o'clock, they are ready to go. So here we are getting ready to go. But good morning. Day two. Yeah, so here we are at breakfast. Yes. Uh, we're now going to head to Glasgow. Uh, yeah, just outside Glasgow. There's yeah. a country park. Yeah. Um, Montpellier or something. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah. Um, so we'll get up there, have lunch, walk dogs. It's two hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. Um, so yeah we we don't like to leave the dogs more than about two and a half hours, do we? No, I mean, they go a lot longer than that overnight, but um, it can't be comfortable. No. So, but not, I mean, they travel, but they're not... Yeah, they're like used any to other it. animal they're yeah. massive they're not massively keen it's not something they would choose no although watson would travel beautifully if he was allowed to travel on our bed yeah the fact that he's got his harness on and he's clipped into his clip really irks him yeah it's some <laughs> some sort of torture it's torture <laughs> um so yeah we had a nice night here last night it was quiet um it's very wet this morning a little bit yeah a little bit so i'll just spin you around and show you the lay boy um as you can see it's just um but it was the original A6, I think. I um, mean, they've moved the road over to the right, and then this has become a sort of truck stop. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Um, it does look country roadish. Yeah, but unlike a lot of the other bits that were the old A6, this bit has no houses on it. Um, so it's become a, a park up for lorries and camper vans and, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it was it was quiet. Um, apparently, well. somebody on part for night said you could hear the M6, but we couldn't. Um, but I don't know why that's because the way yeah. the wind was blowing. And also, we live in our van. Yeah. We so live in our bus. We're used to weather and rain and wind and traffic noise from and traffic. And yeah. you just learn to sleep through anything. I think if you don't, if you're a weekender or a part timer yeah. and you don't do it all the time and you're used to sleeping in this silent house yeah. or flat, we're. But we we all sleep through anything. Yeah. I mean, we've slept on top of hills on our island where the bus is rocking backwards and forwards, yeah. and we've slept. So yeah, and in the summer, the cows rubbing cows. themselves up and down the van all night. They use the van as a scratching post. Don't yeah. They? So we're lying in bed, and all of a sudden, it rocks backwards and forwards as a cow walks up and down the side. But, yeah, so... Yeah, we've learned to sleep anywhere, haven't we? We have, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to hit the road now. Um, two hours, 45 minutes. Two hours, 45 minutes. M M6, M74. Um, and we'll see you. It's in... nice to be driving in the daylight, Matt said. Yeah, it is, yeah, because obviously we didn't... Um, we didn't get the ferry till half four yesterday, so it was dark by the time we got on the ferry. Um, and it was all dark, dark nighttime driving. So, yeah, daytime driving today. But, yeah, we're going to head for the country park um, just outside Glasgow. We'll see you there.
one perfectly calm quiet dog <laughs> one absolute lunatic ginger idiot welcome to van life with dogs <laughs> everywhere you go you get tangled you gotta stop they've got to pee it's because dad's gone in for a wee look at him dad's never coming back come on Oh, it's raining, it's cold. Welcome to Scotland. Come here. I've just stopped uh, for lunch at, can't remember the name of the place. Yeah. I'll stick it on the screen. Anyway, yeah. it's an absolutely beautiful country park just outside Glasgow. Drumpelia. Drumpelia <laughs> Country Park. Um, free parking. You can park right next to the lake. The views are stunning. There are um, swans. Yeah, um, we'll put the drone up in a minute. Um, but we're just going to have some lunch. So this is our first trial with the sandwich maker. So we've got the inverter running. Um, Oh, look at that. So we're having grilled cheese and soup for lunch. Yes. And then we'll take the dogs for a walk, put the drone up, have a look around. But yeah, so it's, uh, it's all working out very well, isn't it? Yeah, it's working out incredibly well. Yeah. The, um, the slow cooker lasagna was a big hit, wasn't it? Yeah, there's not a lot of that left. And the cheese maker, the cheese toasty maker and soup is also going to be a big hit, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to grilled cheese, grilled cheese and some tomato soup and then take the dogs for a walk because obviously they've been cooped up in here for a couple of days now. A couple of minutes, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, well, say a couple of days. It was half past four yesterday we left and it's half past two now, so... I mean, they um, have been out. They have yeah. been the whole time. <laughs> they just haven't been for a really good run. Yeah, so we're going to give them a really good run around the lake. Um, like I said, we'll put the drone up, show you guys where we are. Um, but yeah, well worth the stop. It looks beautiful. So, yeah, see you after lunch. get your attention can i come close i don't know how to play this our hands touch once or twice feeling kind of hypnotized i'm looking at you and i feel the tension you know this could be like heaven i am right here doing my best to make you feel like i do and just for a second Day two, yes. Uh, only we haven't started the NC500 yet. That's where oh, we are. We have? Well, I suppose we have. Yeah. Technically, technically a little bit. We are currently parked up at Rogie Falls. Yes. 
Um, so we left the Isle of Wight. Well, at, it's a lay-by near Rogie Falls, yeah. which you're not allowed to park at Rogie Falls. No, no, but there's a lay-by sort of 400 feet away on the other side of the road, so that's where we are. Um, so yeah, we left the Isle of Wight on the half four ferry on Thursday. Yes. Um, and it's now... Um, 9.17, yeah. but we got here, we got here at half past seven. Yeah, so with our, our night in Garston last night, I think we've done 19 hours of traveling. 19 hours of traveling with an eight hour sleep yeah. and obviously lots of stops for the dogs, but we've actually been moving for 19 hours. Yeah, so 681 miles. Um, and here we are, ready to go in the morning. So we've got an action-packed day tomorrow, haven't we? Yes, we are going to... <laughs> <laughs> going to try and see about 15 Hold things, on. I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. There you go. 15 things. 15 so... stops. Because everybody says the East Coast is really boring. But I've managed to fill the East Coast. And that's all East Coast. Yeah, and that's just between here and, well... Here and Johnny Groats. Yeah, although we're going back sort of almost back to Inverness first. Um, John O'Groats is stop 15. Yeah. And hopefully we'll find somewhere to park around there. Um, but we wanted to see Rogie Falls, so we got to here um, in the dark. So tomorrow Have morning we'll, we'll get up, we'll get ourselves to Rogie Falls ready for daylight, try and get some nice footage for you all. Yes. Um, and then head to our first bit on the actual road um, for about nine o'clock, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And um, we've had dinner. Yes. Dogs have had dinner. Yes, they have, and everyone's had a walk, yeah. and we have another camper van keeping yeah, us company. Yeah, joined us, haven't they? Yep. Um, so yeah, this. It... And we looked like we've spent an entire day inside a vehicle. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. This park up. Um, there's only one. We're in the kind of flat, most flattish spot, and it's not completely flat. Um, but if you've got leveling ramps, it would be okay. Um, but if you haven't got leveling ramps, it's not a level car park. It's another one off park for night, isn't it? Yeah. Another one off park for night. Yeah, but it is literally 400 feet away from Rogie Falls, so. You can hear them. Yeah. You can hear the falls. Yeah. When you stand outside, because obviously we've got the diesel heater running, because it's a little bit chilly in Scotland tonight. Three degrees, I think. Three degrees. Well, so it was three degrees about an hour ago, so I don't know what it is. We've there. had a tiny bit of snow. No polar bears yet. But no. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah. Um, so we've got the, the diesel heater running, so we can hear that, but we can if you open the doors, you can hear the falls from where we're standing. But you so also don't good. freeze to death, so we'll leave them shut. Yes, we do. Yes. So we're going to go to bed. We are. We're going to go to bed. There's, oh, because that's there's the, no internet. No, that's the other thing. There is no, no we've 4G. We've actually had to talk to each other. Yeah. Things I've learned. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's no 4G. There's no nothing. So, so we're going to go to bed. Kind of nice. So, yeah, we're going to go and have a snuggle. Wink, wink. <laughs> this is why, before the internet, there were so many babies. Yes. Because what else did you do at nine o'clock at night when you were bored? Well, we've both been done, so there's no risk there. So I'll catch you in the morning, lads. Bye. <laughs>